and this is on one of almost 90 actions in over 34 states across the country the weekend before the DNC in Chicago to say not another mom! For my family, there used to be hundreds of people decades ago with my last name, and now there are just a handful of us left, and this is happening to entire Veterans know the horrors of war better than most. That's why I'm here to say loud and clear, this must stop. APAC and its allies have supported policies that allow for the continuation of the blockade, the expansion of settlements, and the devastating bombing campaigns in Gaza. It was clear that Israel's response to what was a heinous attack by Hamas on Israel on October 7th was going to be not just disproportionate, but a true massacre of Palestinian civilians. That's why we are calling for the delegates at the DNC next week to demand that an arms embargo be part of the Kamala Harris and Tim Walters platform. Those of us who have been to the West Bank have seen the impact the occupation makes every day on the lives of Palestinian children, youth, and workers. As unionized New York City Council workers, we see every day how police surveillance, attacks on health, housing, and education, and environmental degradation are mirrored at home and abroad. And the Palestinian General Federation of Trade Unions has called for us, their international union siblings, to expose the complicity of our governments in the war crimes committed against the Palestinian people and to apply pressure to halt military aid to Israel. In response this June, ALE became the first city worker union to endorse the divestment of our pension fund, NICERS, from Israel. We are asking the U.S. to literally uphold its own laws and not fund these atrocities. You cannot call for a ceasefire and then send more fighter jets. You cannot claim to be putting on pressure and then send more bombs. The Biden administration has continued to approve billions in military aid to Israel, even as the war in Gaza rages on. This is unacceptable. Our government must send a clear message that Palestinian lives matter and that the United States will no longer be complicit in perpetuating the violence and genocide. <laughs> May it be your will, O Master of Peace, that war and bloodshed cease, and that a great and wonderful peace fill the world. Let nation not lift up sword against nation, neither shall anyone study war anymore. Free, free Free, free, free Palestine!